And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create a simple double exposure with an image. So let's open a new image. You will find that as always via the description link below. Give it a new name. Press Ctrl J to copy it. We have the origin as a backup and we will work with the copy. Activate the quick selection tool and make a quick selection of the model. This one's pretty easy to select. And we don't need to go into all of the details here as this image will be adjusted further. Click on layer mask, select and mask, increase the radius a little bit. Just go over the edges with the refine edge brush tool. Just some parts and then click on OK. Let's create a background, open a new layer, we call it PG for background. Activate the paint bucket tool, have white as a foreground color, and click on your layer. Make sure the layer is below our image copy layer. Now open an adjustment layer, make it black and white, and put the adjustment layer on top of our model copy layer. Open another adjustment layer called threshold and adjust threshold with the slider in the menu. You have to play around with the image that you use until you like the result. Now let's open our second image, which is such a sunset image. You can find that in the description below as well. Resize it, press enter. And now we are going to use a blending mode. Lighten, screen and linear dodge always work well with this effect. We will simply pick screen. You can then move it around with the move tool. I want to have it only around here. And then I want to get rid of the second image in the glasses. And we can do so by applying a layer mask to our Sunset image, activating the brush tool, make sure black is the foreground color, and then paint over it. I'm going to speed this process up a little bit. If you want to get rid of the image, you need the foreground color black to conceal. If you've painted too much black on certain areas, just press X and you've got your white color to reveal and paint over it again. And this is my final result. It's a very easy way to create double exposures. The results vary depending on the images that you use. If you paint on your model layer copy, you can get rid of certain areas that don't fit the composition, like I did here, and then you're done. An easy effect, quickly done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.